Hello everyone. So let's now solve question number four. Let A be a non-zero three cross three matrix. Which of the following options are true? So let's look at option one and option two. So we have given that A is a non-zero three cross three matrix. So that means at least one of the row of a matrix should be non-zero. Hence the rank of A must be at least one. So option one is correct. Well, option two, which says the rank of A may be zero. Rank of A can only be zero when A is our zero matrix. And this is true for any matrix that the rank of that mat any matrix can only be zero. Then that matrix is a zero matrix. Of any matrix can only be zero when it is a zero matrix. That is when all the elements of that matrix are zero. But it is already given that A is a non-zero matrix. That means at least one of the element is non-zero, hence the rank cannot be zero. So, option two is false. Now let's look at option three. The rank of A must be strictly less than three. So, A is a three cross three matrix. If A is an invertible, matrix that alpha implies the determinant of A is not equal to zero. In that case, rank of A would become three. While in all other case, it would be less than three. But uh, it is we have not given information about that whether A is invertible or not. So A can be invertible matrix also and in that case the rank of a will become 3 that is not strictly less than 3 so that's why option 3 is incorrect option 4 if the rank of the matrix is 2 then the dimension of the vector space penned by the vector corresponding to each column of a must be 2 so we have one fact that rank of any matrix any matrix is equal to its row rank which is equal to column rank so we have given that uh, rank of the matrix a is 2 so that means column rank of A is also 2 and column rank denotes the dimension of column space. Now that means the, vec the spanning set formed by the columns of vectors A would have the dimension 2. So oh, that's what the option is telling that the dimension of vector space spanned by the vector corresponding to each column of A must be 2. As the rank of A is 2, so that dimension would also be 2. Now option 5. If the rank of the matrix A is 2, then there exists one vector corresponding to column of A, which can be expressed as linear combination of vector corresponding to the each of the remaining column of A. This is also from the above fact that in the rank of matrix A is 2, so the dimension of column space is 2. But as we have three columns, that means uh, we can express any one of the column as a linear combination of the other two. So that's why option 5 is also true. So let's now solve question number 5. Suppose A is our this matrix. For what value of M is the rank of A at most 2? So we have given that the rank of A is at most 2 and this implies that the determinant of A should be 0. 
because if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then in that case the rank of a would become 3 but in all other case when determinant of a is equal to 0 in that case the rank of a would be less than 3 so that's what it is given that it is at most 2 for so the determinant of a should be equal to 0 so we will find the determinant of this matrix i will be finding the determinant along first row expansion so determinant of a is equal to 1 minus m times 0 into negative 2 minus 0 into m minus 2 into 3 into minus 2 minus 0 into m plus 4 into 3 into m minus 0 into m and this should be equal to 0. We get 1 minus m times 0 minus 2 minus 6 plus 4 3 m equal to 0. We get 12 plus 12 m equal to 0 m equal to negative 1. So that is our answer. So let's now solve question number 6. If rank of the matrix is 2, find the value of a. So let's call this matrix is a. Given that the rank is 2, which implies that determinant of a should be equal to 0. So I'll be finding the determinant along first row expansion. So determinant of a is equal to 0 into 0 into minus 6 minus minus 4 into minus 9 minus minus 1 2 into minus 6 minus minus 4 into 3 plus a into 2 into minus 9 minus 0 into 3 and this should be equal to 0. So it is 0 plus 1 minus 12 plus 12 plus a into minus 18 equal to 0 that means minus 18 a equal to 0 so a is equal to 0 so that is our answer thank you